Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome, my name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you're here. I think I sound a little nasally. I've been having terrible allergies lately and I, I, my, I changed to a different allergy medication and I'm feeling much better than I was, but I still am a little congested. So please bear with me. Uh, I'm so happy that you are here. I really appreciate you clicking on this video. Today is um, a continuation of my lipstick collection. So I just have this little flat. These are all lipsticks that I love. So I went through and I tried on every single lipstick that I own over several months. Um, and I decided if I liked the formula, if I liked the color, and I put them in to either a declutter pile, which is coming, or I um, kept them as ones that I really liked or ones that I loved. And my loves are, Oh, hate my likes. So these are, this is the first part of my loves. I will do another part of this in a couple weeks. I just, I didn't want to do all of it at once because that's just a whole lot to do. So let me know what some of your favorite lipstick colors and formulas are. If there is a specific like lipstick that you really love, let me know down below. Don't forget to like this if you enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed already. We're just gonna jump in. I have some tall ones. We're gonna start with some of the tall ones. So first up we have from NARS. This is their, oh my gosh, what is this? The Velvet Matte Lip Pencil, and this is in the shade Do Me Baby. I wasn't gonna swatch, but I think I better swatch. So that's what it looks like. I really like this formula. I think this is a really nice formula. And um, yeah, I've enjoyed using it. I have another in that same formula. This is the shade Rick Eugene. Rick Eugene. R-I-K-U-G-I-E-N. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, but as you're gonna see, this one is a little bit more sh uh, shiny. It is um, more of a satin finish than a matte, and I really like this one. This is the satin lip pencil, that makes sense. This is one of my favorites. I really love wearing it, and it's, it's such a good one. Let's talk about the one that I am wearing today because this is one of my favorite. This was actually sent to me for review from Influencer, so Yes, I did get it free. My opinion is my own though. This is shade 102 from Giorgio Armani. This is the uh, Rouge Diamarni Armani Matte. It's such a pretty color and it is one that I have worn quite a bit. It is one that I will continue to wear. It has the magnetic closure. It's just really, it's, it's a wonderful formula. I absolutely love it. If I run out of that one, I'm, you know, not that I need to buy any more lipsticks, but it is one that I would consider purchasing. Then we have from NARS, this is the, oh, what are these called? These are the Pat and Polish Lip Pencil in the shade Ruby. I know, it takes me a second to read what they all are. It's kind of a berry shade. It is a very, it's almost like a lip balm. It has a very sheer kind of color payoff, but it is really nice, and I do enjoy that one. Then we have another one from that same brand, and the same, it's the same one. This is the shade Hopelessly Devoted. And I'm sorry for the plane that's flying overhead. But yes, those are really good. There's not really a rhyme or reason to this lipstick container. So you're just gonna kind of get what I pull out. And if I know that there's more than one in the same formula, I'll try to pull those out. But you might see some other shades, same formulas in my part two video. Then we have Lippy Lingerie from Tarte. I love this formula. I have so many of these and I absolutely love them. These are from a special edition set. This first one is Enchanting. It is gorgeous. Then I have this one. Next one is Lacy. It's gonna go on the other side. Oh, this one is so good. Then we also have one more in this collection and this is Enticing. We'll put it over here. This one is probably my least favorite of those three, but I really like this formula. It's kind of creamy, but it's matte and it lasts pretty well. I don't know, it just feels really good on the lips and I've had several of them and I just, it's, they're really nice. I have two from Huda Beauty. One is a mini, one is a full size. I know I have more of these. Uh, they might be in my likes though. First one up is Honeymoon. These were by like, buy one get one free or something for uh, National Women's Day a couple years ago. 2020 actually, I think. All right, we have one more. This is Interview. This is also from Huda. I don't like this one quite as much. I mean, it's more of a nudie than a pinky and I love the more like pink shades. It's, but this is a really great formula. I really enjoy their lipstick formula. 
Okay, next up we have this one from Bare Minerals. I actually have two of this. This is the shade Honesty, and I didn't realize I had two of them, but they are the same shade. So uh, I will be keeping both of them because it's pretty easy to go through a mini. At least that is my goal is to start using more lipsticks. I've been wearing a lot of lipsticks. Been going through quite a few lip glosses the past couple of years. But yes, love that one. Then I have from Lancome, this is the shade Rosewood Ruby. And oh my gosh, this is such a beautiful, it's such a weird like lipstick. Like it's such a different shape and stuff, but it is a beautiful color. It has just a little bit more rosiness to it than some of the other shades that I have. You're probably seeing a pattern with the shades that I really like. Then I have this one, which is called Sugared Maple. This one came in one of their um, sets that are like gifts with purchase or uh, purchase with purchase that they do their holiday sets. So I like that one a lot too. I have two from Urban Decay. This first one is Rebel. This is one of their limited editions that they did for the holidays. So I don't really like the packaging because I don't know, those just kind of creep me out, those lips. But that is what it looks like. It has a slight metallicness to it, as does this next one, which is called, oh my gosh, I felt like I just broke it. Uh, Devilish. This was part of the Naked Cherry line, and this is probably my favorite thing from that line. Uh, that's what it looks like right there. Very pretty shade. A little sheer. They're, neither one of them are like super in your face, but they are both very nice. Then I have a couple from Sephora. This first one, oh, this one is so crazy trying to find the shade. This is M111. Uh, no, M11 not M111. This one has is more of a berry. It's a really pretty, it looks almost like a stain on. Really like it. This one is super old. I know it's super old. I don't care, I'm still gonna wear it. This is from when they did their collection with Pantone. This is the shade Orchid, uh, They or when it was the shade. The color of the year was Orchid. This is called Radiant Orchid Creme, and oh my gosh, it's just, way different it's one i don't wear it a lot but when i do i it's you know something that's more in your face one of the lip stories from uh more recently this is the shade pisces i got this because my mom is a pisces and i really like this one i actually liked the pisces shade better than the leo which is what i am uh so yeah very pretty on that one too i know i have more of these in my next uh, part of this, but these are Fenty and these are what so tiny. These are the Matte Moselle. This is Flamingo Acid. I love this one. This is another kind of like berry one, not one that I wear all the time, but when I do, it is, it has such a presence to it. Same with this one. Oh my gosh. I love this one. This is Candy Venom and this is like one of the best bright pink, you know, fuchsia type shades. I absolutely love it and it is one that I wear quite a bit like in the summer definitely not like a wear to class kind of thing but oh my gosh so pretty we have one from number seven my friend got me a whole bunch of these and they're kind of scattered throughout my different things this is the stay perfect formula and this is the shade Auburn whisper it's a very sheer very light formula so that's what it looks like. It's It feels really good on the lips, but they are a little messy, so you have to be careful about that. Let's do a NARS. So I have this one from NARS. This is the shade Niagara. I hate the soft touch, touch packaging because it always like disintegrates before anything else, but this is such a pretty color. I got this one at Costco when they had it on like sale. Really pretty color. Really enjoy this one. Okay, I have a few from Estee Lauder. This first one, uh, I love the packaging on and that's part of the reason why I wanted to keep it. This is the shade Intense Nude. It's, you know, just kind of your regular type of a nude. It's a, it's a pretty shade. Is it my favorite shade? No, but it's still like, I feel comfortable. I feel like whatever I wear, I'm going to feel comfortable and I'm going to not feel self-conscious in these shades. This next one is also from Estee Lauder. This is uh, Candy, right? No, it's not. It's not candy. I think I have a shade named candy somewhere. This is a uh, tumultuous pink. It's a very pretty shade. I, I like a hot pink every now and again. And then this one, this is candy. I knew I had candy somewhere. I just had it in the wrong packaging. It is also in that beautiful packaging. And that's what it looks like. Sorry, I won't get too close because if I get too close, then it does that weird flashy thing. 
Okay, Touch and Soul. I got this one from Ipsy. At, this was such a pain to get, but I because they lost my bag and stuff, and I love this color. It's a really nice formula, too. I would like to get some more from Touch and Soul. I think they were, were good. This is super old, I know. This is from o Olay. I want to call it Oil of Olay because th that's like how old I am. Uh, this is the shade Creamy Maroon. I I don't even know how long I've had this lipstick, but it still looks good, still smells good, still performs good. So I will use it. I need to, it's one that needs to start being used up though. Lisa Eldridge, I have several of hers. The rest of them are in my other set. I know that I love her lipsticks. This is the shade Skyscraper Rose. I am so glad that I got in on her one collection. I only bought the one collection because they are pretty expensive and you have to order them, but look at that. Oh, the formula is so good too. They are absolutely excellent. Highly recommend them. This one is from Mally. This is the Inspire Me lipstick in the shade Playful. I got this in a set of three from Ross. This one is very, very pale, but it works really well on the lips. I don't know like what it is. I Can you even see it? Uh, but yeah, it looks really nice on the lips, even though it doesn't perform too well. Okay, next up we have one from Ulta. This is the shade Soiree. This is, what are, what is this? This is the matte lip crayon. That's what it looks like. It's a nice color. I, I like this formula. It kind of reminds me of the Lippy Lingerie. Maybe not quite as good, but it's up there. I have some Marc Jacobs. Oh, it still hurts that Marc Jacobs Beauty is gone um, because they had some amazing lipsticks. And yes, some of these are old too. This one was a gift for being Rouge. This is So Rouge Le Marc Lip Creme. Uh, very pretty shade. We'll never get rid of this. We'll, we'll be using this one up because it cost me a lot of money. Uh, then we have this one. This is Infamous. This is probably my favorite shade of the whole lip range. I bought a full size of this and uh, when they discontinued the line I purchased, well the brand, I was going to like give that one away because I had extras and I was like, nope, never mind. So I have a full size somewhere that I also am I'm working on finishing. This one is the most out there of the ones that I have in this set. This is the shade Current Mood. And I did uh, pass along several of my Marc Jacobs products over the years uh, just because they weren't shades for me. So these are ones that, you know, I actually like. I love this formula. This is another amazing color. This is Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I had extras of this and I decided to keep them as well because I could not purchase it anymore. But as you can see, like Infamous and Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, they're they're very close cousins. They're both really, you know, beautiful everyday shades. One from Lorac, this is the shade Seductress. Oh my gosh, this one is very pretty. It's a little much, like it's not one that I wear every day. It's, you know, compared to Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, it just has a little bit more brightness to it, but it's a nice formula as well. Another super old one. This is from CoverGirl. I have like gotten rid of other ones that went bad from the same time period, but these are still like working and smelling good. This is Pick Me Up Pink. This is kind of like a frosted pink. This is very much early 2000s, like frosted like pink. It's, it's still pretty. I still enjoy it and I will still wear it. Ulta, I mean, not Ulta, Ipsy and Betty Bo Boop. Boop. I don't know what I'm saying. This is the shade Mavit Baby, and it's it's a very pretty color. I'm glad that I got some of the Betty Boop. Overall, like the Ipsy collaborations have been pretty disappointing, but that, that lipstick was actually probably like one of the highlights. All right, ColourPop. I have decluttered a lot of my ColourPop because they seem to go bad more than other, like faster than other brands. I don't know why. Uh, this is the shade Belle. This is from their princess collection. That's what it looks like. It's beautiful. Belle is one of my absolute favorite princesses. Uh, yeah, so I love Belle. Then we have this one from NYX. This is the Simply Red Lip Creme, and it is in the shade Russian Roulette. I did break the lid on this one, the cap, so it is taped uh, so that it will stay closed and kind of sealed. So bear with me for a second. There we go. There we go. It is a beautiful red. It's like an orangey red. And uh, yes, I highly, like I need to start wearing that one some more. I do have some lipsticks that 
are getting kind of old and I'm trying to use them up currently. And then I will be going through and like picking out other ones once that those are done. I have one that I'm really close to. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, you'll see it in my May empties. Christian Dior, oh my gosh. So fancy, so expensive. This is the Rouge Dior Hypnotic Matte in the shade 481. This was part of their holiday collection. So can you see those little snowflakes on there? Oh, it's, mm, just makes me happy. It is so pretty. It's more of a cool tone, rosy brown, but definitely a shade that I love. Look at the red inside. Oh, very fancy, very, very fancy. Also, I just noticed my nails. I, it's been a week, so please ignore my nails. All right, please excuse the staining that is starting to happen. Uh, I think they should still show up okay, but I will try to put like similar shades over them so that they don't like alter the color too much. We have one from Lauren Conrad. I got this in Ipsy and I'm really sad that Kohl's, like I'm excited that they went Sephora and Kohl's, but I'm also sad because I wanted to buy more of the Lauren Conrad beauty from them. I need to just put an order in on her site, but just a little disappointed. So that's what it looks like. This is the shade Rosette. It is a really good formula. I really enjoy it. Uh, was a little surprised, but I do enjoy it. Okay. One of my fancies, this is from Givenchy. Givenchy. It's, oh, look at the pretty packaging. Uh, this is the shade from v Frambrose, the Lures, uh, raspberry basically. And it's, it is a raspberry shade. It has like the little spikes on it. It's so pretty. Uh, you know, one that I will definitely treasure and keep the packaging even after I have finished wearing it completely. One from KBD. This is the shade. What is this? The shade. This is the shade Mother. This one is so much darker than what it shows on the back. It is a very pretty sh shade though. But look at the, like, it doesn't really look the same. Ooh, there you go. Well, now it looks more the same, but it doesn't look the same, like, when I'm looking at it. This shade doesn't, sh isn't showing true as I'm looking at my camera. One from Nude Sticks. This is the Nudies All Over Face Color. Um, it's the shade Naughty and Spice. I don't use this on my cheeks or anything. This has been strictly a lipstick. It's a pretty color. It's a little, little brown, but I still, I still liked it on enough to keep it in my loves pile. Then we have from Tarte. This is the only one I think that's made it um, into this. This is the shade shade Set Sail. A few of these I'm looking at, I'm like, I don't like these, but I know that when I tried them on, I really enjoyed them. So that's what it looks like. It's also a little on the brownie side, not necessarily what I would reach for immediately. We have another one from Tarte. This is, I don't think they make this anymore. This is the Lip Surgeon's Lip Cream. I love this formula. This I probably like even more than the Lippy Lingerie. It's very similar. It's a little bit more glossy. It's very pretty. Really like it. And my son just went behind a cloud. So hopefully, hopefully things are still showing up all right. We have from Smashbox, this is the shade Be Legendary Stylus Matte. That doesn't help me. It's, it's a pretty, it's a pretty, you know, pinky shade. Oh, it is definitely a matte shade, but oh my gosh, look at that. That is like what dreams are made of for me of like lip color. Then we have from Makeup Forever, this is M401. Oh, this is a red. This is not the one I was thinking it was going to be. I was thinking that this was going to be a shade very similar to that Smashbox, but it is not. It is nice though. Then we have from Wayne Goss. Granted, I haven't worn this one a ton yet. This is a shade Walnut. Uh, Oh my gosh, I'm looking at this, I'm like, oh, but I know, like I went through and I divided them up by ones that I really like. So obviously I like this on my lips, even though like looking at it right now, I'm like a little scary, little brown, I'm not the biggest fan of brown. From Becca, oh, another company I so miss. This is the shade Rosewood. Oh my gosh, this lipstick formula is so good. I loved it and I'm very sad that they got rid of this lipstick formula because it was so good. So good. From Clinique, I have a couple from Clinique. This is the shade Love Pop. These are really nice. They're kind of sheer. They do need to be built up just a little bit. I really like that one. And then this is Plum Pop. You know, I if I had to choose between the two, I'd probably pick Love Pop. Oh, this is a little bit over 
Plum Pop, but they are both very nice. We have one from Buxom. This is the shade uh, Sultry Mauve. This is another nice formula. It's a little bit more satiny than the other ones. It's, it's not a true, it's not a matte formula. We have one from Tom Ford. This is the shade Indian Rose. This is just a little tiny sample. I am so grateful that I have it. It is such a pretty, just total kind of pretty nude. Really enjoy it. Have a couple from Bobbi Brown. Also really enjoy these. This is the shade Neutral Rose. So you're gonna get a good, you're gonna see it's just a little bit, uh, just a little bit different. I really like that one. But this one, oh my gosh, this is Babe. I absolutely love Babe from Bobbi Brown. It is a lipstick that I reach for quite a bit. Uh, and I will eventually have to get a full size of it because look at how pretty that is. Bobbi Brown has a really good lipstick formula. It's one of the things that I picked <clears throat> when I was at the cosmetic company store for their six for 60 makeup sale. I was like, I need a Bobbi Brown lipstick. We have two from Burberry. I have, this is Oxblood. This is like a super dark shade. Oh my goodness. There you go. It's it's like, the it's Oxblood, right? Uh, and then we also have Damson, which is a very light shade, not light shade. It's a very plum shade. It's a Damson plum. So it is also very, very pretty. I do like that one as well. Then I have three from Kiko Milano, and these were a set that I got at the holidays. The bottoms of them have absolutely nothing to do with their colors whatsoever. This is the shade 02. I don't really, now how to, it's a powder power mini lipstick. So that is shade two. I really like shade two. Shade three is not quite as fun. It's a little bit more of that brown shade. I still, I still like it, but I don't love it. And then shade one, which it shows purple on here and it's definitely not purple. It is oh, my, probably my favorite of the three really good formula and it's kind of it reminds me of the powder kiss formula from mac if you've tried that one okay we have some from bite and um unfortunately they just announced that they are closing they are keeping their lip labs which i've never been to so you can get custom lipsticks and i think they're still in this formula i have they're all old ones and luckily they have stayed good for me I do need to concentrate on using these up though. So I have the Mouge Boost. This first one is Sweet Cream. Oh my gosh, it is such a good shade. I really like that kind of peachy shade. Then we have Pepper, uh, more of a cool toned neutral. It's, it's really nice as well. Then we have Kimchi, this one. Oh my gosh, this is like that pinky, bright pinky blue red, or not pinky, not red. Just, it's like a hot pink, but with a blue tone. That's what I'm trying to say. Then we have Fig, which is another really pretty kind of neutrally shade. Uh, sad to hear that they are going out because they did have some really nice formulas. I know that when they reformulated, people didn't like them as much and I didn't purchase from them. So I probably should have, but there's just, as you can tell, I already had too many lipsticks as it was. Okay, this one, I've already finished the bottom half of this. It is a lip gloss. This is the Tarte Lip Sculptor, and this is in the shade Kind. So I have the lipstick portion here. It's very pretty, and it is a nice shade, and I, I need to, you know, I used up the lip gloss. I made a concerted effort, too. I need to use up the lipstick next. Then we have a couple from Nude Sticks. These are the Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil. This is in the shade Kiss. Oh my gosh, this one is so pretty. Look at that one, oh, love it. And then we have Belle, this is also the Intense Matte. It's just a little bit more browny, but it is also very pretty. Uh, I didn't think I liked the Nude Sticks, but those were the one that kind of flipped me to thinking maybe I do like them because there's some that are sticky and those are not sticky. We have one from LOC, which is Lock, lots of color. And this one was one that they did in collaboration with Toddy. I got this in Birchbox years ago. It is so pretty. It is one that you have to sharpen and I don't always remember to sharpen it. So that is why um, it, it's, I still have it. I need to start using it. It's more of a sheer shade as you can probably tell. It looks more sheer. One of these from Benefit, this is their real double the lip line. I had two of these. These are very interesting. They're supposed to have two different shades. You can kind of tell, 
Uh, I, I don't feel like they really do that much, though. It's a pretty shade. It's the uh, Revved Up Red. I thought it was the pink one, but obviously it's not. From Sugar, I got this one not too long ago in a subscription. Matte as Hell Crayon Lipstick in Honey Rider. This one is really nice formula, really smooth. Um, definitely need to use that one some more. We have some from Besame. I love the packaging on Besame. I love the collaborations they have done with Disney over the years. So first up, we have one from Snow White. This is the shade Love's First Kiss. Oh my gosh, this one is so pretty. It took me forever to get these all, and I am so grateful that I did. So that is Love's First Kiss. Then we have Make-A-Wish. This is also from the Snow White collection. Oh, this is probably my favorite of them. Then we have this one, which is from, well, let me let me do one more from Snow White. This one is Snow White Red, so a little bit darker of the shades. Uh, very pretty still. Then we have one from Snow White, and this is Maleficent. Oh my gosh, this shade. So pretty. So glad that I got Maleficent, because look at that. Look at how pretty that is. Very, very excited about that. I got some minis too. These ones, I know they have full names, but on the minis, they just say the year. So you can look them up by year. First one I have is 1970. Oh my gosh. This one is kind of like a chocolatey red. It is so pretty. I didn't think I would like it, but it's probably my favorite. Then I have 1935. This one is going to be super red. Uh, has much more of a presence, more of an oxblood type color. And then the third one I have is 1969. This is kind of like the pinky one. Uh, verging on red, but not really there. Oh, so good. Yes, I love uh, my Besame lipsticks. I also love my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I don't have a whole bunch of them, but what I do have, I really enjoy. This one is MI Kiss, and oh my gosh, it's so pretty, and it can be built up, which I really enjoy about this formula. Then I have this one. This is Viva La Vergara. Really pretty shade. Like that one. I need to wear this one more. Uh, this is one that I probably would get eventually in a full size. Then I have this one, which is Amazing Amal. This one is also really pretty. Uh, oh, so pretty. So pretty. Look at that shade. Oh, so pretty. Then I also have a mini of Pillow Talk because who doesn't have Pillow Talk, at least in a mini, because it's so iconic. Oh, that is so pretty, too. Okay. Yeah. So excited about all of those. I love all of those. Okay, I have a whole bunch of MAC I'm going to show you in a minute, but before I do that, I want to show you my Pat McGraths that I have in this set. So the first one I have up is a Lux Trance, and this is in the shade Pink Alternus. Very crazy color, but very pretty. Uh, goes on with quite a lot. It has a lot of payoff. It's, it's really nice. Then we have a Full Panic lipstick. Uh, that's the shade Full Panic. I love this one. This shade, oh. Again, one of my favorite shades kind of reminds me of the Fenty Beauty one that I showed a little bit ago, that pink. Then we have Obsessed. This one, you have to be careful with these though because I have had one of these I lost because it shot out when I opened it and oh, it was it was tragic. Then we have some other, these, I love this one. Oh. This first one is called Executive Realness. This one is beautiful. Oh, so pretty. Then we have this one, which is Elson 2. I think this is the one that I lost the first time, so it shows up quite a bit, thank goodness. And then finally, my last one, uh, I hate the name of this one. This one is Softcore. Just, uh, I don't know, I don't like that name. Uh, that's what it looks like right there. Uh, very pretty. It is one that I wear quite a bit, but look at those shades. Like They all have so much of a presence. Very beautiful. Okay, we are down to my Macs. I have a lot of Mac that are listed in my favorites, and this is only half of my favorites. So, yes, you're going to have more of them coming soon. Uh, first up is from, oh, uh, I don't, I'm not going to try to remember all of the collections. This one is called Tulip Service. Oh, my gosh. I mean, there's been a couple others 
that have been similar in shade that I have also enjoyed. We have just a regular one. This is the A Little Tamed. This is the Powder Kiss Lipstick. Oh, I love this formula. It's so different. It's so lightweight, but it has like a punch to it. It's it's really weird. Uh, Tulip Sur Service was a matte, by the way, as well. Then we have a, another limited edition. This is the shade Tulip. This is also a MAC matte. Oh, I love this shade. I love MAC lipsticks. Like, they are so, so good. I really enjoy them. Just a regular one. This is the shade Twig, kind of a iconic one. You see a lot of people talk about that and wear that one. We have this one, which was another one that was limited edition. This was a holiday set. This is Relentlessly Red, which I think is hilarious because it is not red to me whatsoever. It is definitely a pink shade. Another regular one. This is the shade 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 brave why did that not want to go through uh relentlessly red is a retro matte lipstick by the way and then this one is a satin the shade brave this is from their newest holiday collection this is the shade for my next trick this is also a matte the matte is probably my favorite formula of theirs then we have another one from this collection this is uh prosperity it is also a matte it almost feels more like a satin to me, just slightly regular collection. This is the shade. This is a retro matte and this is Nutcracker Rouge. This was from their Nutcracker collection. I was so excited to get to that collection. That's kind of where I started with my Mac journey. And um, one of my friends that I danced with growing up, uh, she was part of the, um, advertisement for it she danced in the ads and they did like a tour to different Mac stores across the country it was really cool to watch her progress this is from a collaboration and it is Lamouk L-A-M-U-Q-E it is a matte lipstick I love this shade I'm not really sure who this person is but it's a pretty shade then we have this one which is like Year of the Tiger, and this is Pure Luck. This is a powder kiss. Like I said, I really like this formula. It is very sheer though, so you do need to build it up. Then we have one from Aladdin. Oh, this was such a good collection, and I wish I had gotten some backups, especially of this, not this one, the other one. This is Raja. This is probably my least favorite of the three from that set, but oh, so good. We have some from the Nutcracker collection. This was the uh, packaging for it. This is a satin lipstick in the shade Rebel. This one, I've had many of them and I just decided to keep the holiday packaging. Then we have Lady Danger, kind of an orangey. It's, a, it's kind of a pretty orangey red though. Uh, oh, I have one more full size. This is Ruby Woo. This is a very famous one. This is a retro matte. And this one is definitely feels thicker than the other ones. Then we have Mac Red and Mac Red is a satin. And then finally, the last one is Mare. And this is a matte and it's a pretty shade as well. There's some, there's a good variety of shades in here, but I love the formula of Mac and that's why I have so many in there. Okay, so that was a lot of lipsticks. I haven't even counted them. I don't know how many I have. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. I will try to count these up and put a total in the description box so that you can see how many lipsticks I have. This is just part one of the ones I love. So tune in, there will be a part two, then there'll be ones that I just like, and then finally a declutter of a whole bunch of lip products, and then I'll probably do a lip gloss eventually too. So let me know what you are most excited to see. Let me know if you finished through this whole video. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to talk to you next time, bye.